this video is going to be all over the place. <laughs> gonna be crazy. This is the second to last week of school. I have like literally two weeks from tomorrow until the semester ends and the end of the semester is always super super crazy. There's so many assignments to do. You know there's like finals and projects and tests and um, catching up and so much stuff to do and then there's like you know, Christmas shopping on top of it. So there's just a lot to do this week and it's going to be crazy. I've been posting pretty consistently on YouTube, like every single week on Friday at 9am and I'm really proud of myself for doing that and I want to keep it up. And I had a plan for the video this week and then I just like, it, it was supposed to be a sewing project for school and I totally forgot that I was gonna film it and I just sewed it up just out of the blue because I wanted to get it done and like my brain is a jumble right now because there's so much to do and to work on. This video is just gonna be a combination of everything I am working on this week to wrap up the semester. This week especially is probably going to be almost as crazy as next week so I'm already stressed and like trying to figure out how I'm supposed to fit everything into my schedule because on top of you know just having regular school I also have all of the you know final stuff I need to work on but then I just started a new job too so I'm trying to like you know figure out my new schedule so it's crazy and I'm not the best at getting everything done because I procrastinate majorly um, so honestly, this video is going to help me have more motivation to get stuff done because it is for this video. So, let's just start doing stuff because I have so many things I need to do. Honestly, the first thing I need to start with is cleaning because when I am, when my space is at its worst, my head is also at its worst. It's just, it does not function correctly and I don't want to do anything because my space is also stressing me out. So let's just clean up my space. Okay, so it's now tons cleaner, and I'm already feeling a lot more motivated to finish everything for today. I just finished work, and I'm really tired, but um, my space is clean, and that really helps my motivation. So, it's not like all the way done. I have some laundry I need to fold here, and this bed still has some stuff on it, mostly I mean, this kind of just is my catch-all bed. Like, everything <laughs> just gets thrown onto here. But I like having, like, this electronic equipment because it's useful for, like, editing in my school stuff and my work stuff, too. So I always just keep it here. Anyways, um, now I actually have to go run some errands. So I gotta go to the thrift store and see if I can find something. Gotta go do some grocery shopping, too. Um... So, yeah. Don't. Oh, yeah. 
yeah, it's kind of weird. It almost looks like a weird TV cat, actually. Oh, so beautiful! Look at it, Nikki. Look how pretty it Built. is. It's a lot later now. It's um, about 7.30. Finished my errands. Um, I've just been kind of like, I ate dinner and had some hot cocoa and um, yeah, just resting a little bit after a long day. But um, I have more stuff I need to do. It's just one of those weeks where like, I can take like an hour break, but then I just gotta get back to it. Um, so yeah, the next thing I'm going to work on is a project for my CAD pattern making class. It's actually my final. Um, I am making a jacket for the class. It's actually based off of this North Face jacket um, that I've seen all over Pinterest. It's definitely different, but basically you were supposed to take a jacket that you already owned and recreate the pattern from it. Um, and then you can like, you know, make the style different. So that's what I did. I already made the pattern, got the fabric, cut out the pieces a few days ago but now I just need to start piecing it to together. I actually skipped my morning classes because I was getting <laughs> stressed out because I feel like I have so many things I need to do and it was just like getting really overwhelming um, and when I get overwhelmed I want to do the opposite of everything I'm supposed to do so basically I just needed to cool down, de-stress and get some organization because that really helps me um not get so stressed put up these sticky notes to help me get organized and figure out what I need to prioritize this week because you know knowing myself I won't be able to accomplish everything on my list but if I specifically put it in a list of prioritized things I know that I will at least get the important stuff done and also like have motivation to do the other stuff too because I will know what I need to do like I need to keep track of everything that um, I need to do so instead of just overthinking and keep remembering what I need to do it's already there and I can just get rid of all of these crazy thoughts and just focus on one sticky note at a time
each sticking out as a category photography cad jacket my best friend's graduation dress catch up on cad this video half scale project within the rest of the day i will probably working be working on the cad jacket um so yeah let's get into that this is a piece of the jacket i'm making it's one of the front pieces it's super soft and I can tell I'm gonna really like this jacket a lot, except um, it's too short. <laughs> it's really too short. So like if I line it up right, it doesn't even cover my t-shirt all the way and this is a crop top. So I definitely wouldn't be able to wear it with like sweatshirts and stuff. So I just asked my teacher if she would allow me to change the pattern a little because I didn't realize how short this would be. Um, I want it to be like at least to here, maybe a little longer even. I didn't realize it would be so short, but basically if I changed it, I would add another one of these like poof sections. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really hoping that she'll let me change it because I really like the width wise will be good, but it's just not long enough and I know I'll wear it more if it's longer. So I'm really hoping that she lets me change it because it's just not long enough. But um, I have to wait right now until she messages me back because I don't want to keep going until I know if I can make it longer or not. So basically I have to not do this right now. So instead I'm going to work well, I actually need to finish doing some cleaning because I have my clean checks today for my apartment. My room is pretty clean. I need to fold some laundry, but I have some other chores I need to do around the apartment before they come. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so my teacher did get back to me and I can make my jacket longer, which is amazing. <laughs> Luckily, I have the supply or like enough fabric to do that. Um, I'm very happy about that because I know I'm going to wear it so much more if it's just a little bit longer um, because it is so annoying when you have a jacket and your shirt or sweater or something extends past the jacket but not by like an inch by like this much it's so gross looking so I know I really really needed to change the length but my teacher said yes yeah, she's totally fine with it so um I need to do that but before I get to that I actually have to go back to the thrift store so basically for the jacket I need a separating zipper and I live in a place where there's really no craft stores um honestly the only thing that like has craft supplies is Walmart but it's very limited and I checked there yesterday and they do not have any any separating zippers and I do have one but it's not long enough so the next closest place is a 30 to 40 minute drive away and I don't really feel like driving all of that way like I have so many things I need to do um so basically what I'm gonna do is go to the thrift store and see if they have any like zip up hoodies or sweaters or something like that that I can just like take the zipper from if that makes sense that's what I'm hoping to do it just depends on what they have there but um and the other thing is I really wanted to use some goose feather filling for this jacket but it's so expensive and I'm running out of time like I can't order supplies anymore because it is due in just a few days so um, I need to get some more stuffing too I think but I don't want that much so I might grab like a little pillow or something that I can just steal it from. I really like um, using second hand material so it's totally fine to me to rip something apart and recycle the materials from. So. Let's go do that really quick. Okay, hopefully you can hear me. These are the two things I found for zippers. It's like this um, vest thing. It's super big. I actually think this is probably what I'm going to go for because the zipper is like so long. And because it has like this 
collar thing too that makes me think that it's definitely long enough. The other thing I found was like the zip up hoodie. I really only chose it because of the color of the zipper but I don't think it's long enough. So I'm probably going to get this vest plus I don't feel bad like getting rid of this. It's so gross looking. And then got this pillow because it feels similar to the filling I'm using for the jacket and I don't feel bad taking it apart so yeah this is how it's going so far um maybe you can tell maybe you can't I extended this front piece by that much and it's much better and honestly you can't even tell it's literally the same exact piece I didn't cut new pieces I just added um, some more yeah and it blends in really well because of that stitched line and then I also added a welt pocket which is really nice I'm really happy about the length now it works well with the pocket if it if it had been the length that was before the pocket would have been like really way too high and weird so now it's perfect and I'm very happy about it I've been sewing for hours and haven't made a ton of progress but it's because I've been like adding like this piece I had to cut and and then add and there's just been a lot of patchwork because the pattern pieces were wrong but it's gonna be a beautiful coat it just takes a lot of time and effort I'm really excited about it I'm glad that I got a head start because it's gonna take me a really long time to do this. The pockets take a long time, but I've figured that out now. Basically what I have to do is make all of the pieces like this, like this padded version, then assemble it into what looks like a jacket, do the same thing with the lining pieces, and then add the little details. Once I get this stuffed pieces done, it's going to go by a lot quicker, I think. It's just taking a lot longer than I had hoped. I mean, obviously it's going to take a long time. It's a whole jacket. It's not an easy sewing project, but um, hopefully I can finish it pretty soon. And maybe it'll be in, maybe the reveal will be in an upcoming video. I'm sure it will be on Instagram eventually, so if you're really wanting to see how this jacket turns out, um, you can follow me on Instagram, it's linked down below, or you could just follow me at Emma Yoakum on Instagram. I think I'm going to finish the video out here. I've got a really busy day tomorrow and Friday, so I'm not going to have any time to film, but I think I got a lot of different viewpoints. It's been a very busy week of school, and you haven't even seen the half of it. Um, it's just going to get busier, so... Yeah, thanks for coming along with me in this busy week of school. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you are currently also going through the last weeks of the semester, my heart is with you. I feel what you are feeling right now. The stress is real. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, and if you enjoy my content, maybe subscribe. I really like to do a lot of sewing content. Uh, it is my major, so yeah. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend or day or what, whatever time that you are watching this, and I will see you next Friday. Bye.